Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. It's great to be back with all of you with uh, my partner, John Coleman. And let's see, uh, the, uh, all the philosopher, Bill Jordan. Is that Bill Jordan? Yeah, <laughs> great to see you, Bill. Good to be seen. Good to be seen, Art. How are uh, you? Bill, uh, you and I and Art have all tried intermittent fasting. It's yeah. that time of year, uh, particularly when people seem to always start on diets and stuff. But all year long, people are interested in fasting and dieting and that yeah. kind of thing. Uh, how has the intermittent fasting worked for you? Intermittent fasting been very, very good to me. <laughs> very, very good to me. Uh, actually, inspired by my uh, brother, my middle brother, Brad, he dropped 40 pounds wow. doing intermittent fasting. Well, that got my attention. So he went from like 216 to 176. Good his body him. is his body now settles in the 180s. And he's he's fine with that because, I mean, you can just, you know, you can get, you know, I used to weigh eight pounds. <laughs> I don't think I want to go that far. But um, it, when you embrace as i say you know they were talking about the embrace the boom here in a little bit but if you embrace intermittent fasting which is basically like an eight a 16 and eight you eat your meals within an eight hour window then you fast for 16 hours so say noon to uh what 8 p.m you eat whatever you're going to eat now you don't go crazy you don't eat bags of potato chips and all that stuff Oh, you know, you try, that's the trick. Well, I mean, you, you so, can't. Yeah, John, so you, maybe it's worth another try. Look, no, no, no. <laughs> Listen, I mean, like, you know, for example, Super Bowl coming up or the holidays just passed. You know, you can pig out. You can you can you can cheat, but then you can get back on it. Intermittent fasting is something that you can. It's flexible in that you can do more of it. It's not like, hey, if you're a keto diet, you're a keto. You can't exactly go more keto if you're a keto, right? So if I, for example, my schedule would be on Mondays. I, I fast until like 4 or 5 in the afternoon. I might have a little block of cheese, a little bit of cheese. Um, I'll drink, make sure I'm drinking water or tea through the day after I've had my morning coffee. I try to stay hydrated. Believe it or not, I feel my mental acuity is better. I am not starving. And sometimes when that four o'clock comes, I don't even want the cheese and I'll wait to have dinner. And my wife, Marianne, makes us some very healthy stuff. It might just be like crab cake on salad or some salmon on salad or chicken on salad. Or maybe it's maybe it is or maybe it is meat and potatoes, whatever. But then I'm eating it and then I try to work in my typically my low carb, typically, unless I'm making my own, a low carb ice cream. And I try to get it done by eight or eight thirty. So then what? Tuesdays and Thursdays, I allow myself lunch and dinner. Well, it didn't Monday, sound like Monday, you... Wednesday, Friday, I don't, I just, I basically wait for that dinner one I meal. I was going to say, yeah, that's like one meal a day. For three days, for three days out of the week. And on the weekend, I may, I may sneak in like a bowl of uh, cereal in the morning. Wow. And then people laugh at me because I'll have the same thing for lunch. I'll take a piece of deli meat. And I know deli meat's not necessarily supposed to be good for you, but like a piece of deli ham, wrap it around some string cheese, nuke it for a minute, and I'll nuke a, a, a bowl of like frozen mixed vegetables and put olive oil in it and red cider vinegar and Mrs. Dash and salt and pepper and eat it, and I'm good to go. But yeah. I have lost, at my heaviest, I was probably 195, 196, and I have been down to 175. Well, John and I, and I, and I don't really want to speak for John and embarrass him, but John and I have had meals uh, that weighed 195 single yeah. meals. <laughs> well, you know, I, I have too. But here's the thing. When I tell somebody what I'm doing, they want to lose weight. And I tell them, I said, this is the most effective, habitual lifestyle, quote, diet that I've ever been on. It's not like, okay, I'm cutting out bread. I'm cutting out sugar. I'm weighing this. How many grams of that? How much of this? It is sustainable. It is a habit. It is a lifestyle. If you will embrace it. Now, again, when I tell people, here's what I do, and they'll say to me directly, oh, I can't do that. And I just agree with them. Because what? The old saying, whether you believe you can or whether you believe you can't, you're right. If you're not mentally ready to go, okay, I'm going to try not eating today until five o'clock or six o'clock and just try to stay hydrated. 
By the by the by the way, in all of if this, you can't get uh, past you that. Check, then you're. Uh, I want to I want to suggest to people because I I um, uh, I've been using intermittent uh, fasting off and on, and great success when I kept it as a normal practice. But that's for me. You should always check with your doctor. Oh yeah. Because if you take our word for it, then have sure. have your people sue Bill Jordan because Art and John are saying go check with your doctor. <laughs> no, you're, no, no, you're absolutely right. It's like anything you're going to change if you're going to try to start running or something like that. You know, I, uh, which I would not do at this point. I, I could. I, I should start walking more often. That I'm not. I've not made that into a habit yet. But the the intermittent fasting has been the most effective, sustainable lifestyle change that I have made that has kept weight off. And like I say, if I splurge on a weekend, we go out of town, we go up to the family farm in Virginia, and they're serving up breakfast with bacon and eggs and sausage, gravy and biscuits, I can do that. I feel absolutely stuffed. And then starting Monday, I'm back on the path. But then when I get back home and I get back on the path, I can drop that weight pretty quickly and efficiently with the intermittent fasting. I would recommend uh, on YouTube, there's a channel from a Dr. Jason Fung, F-U-N-G, Jason Fung, and he is like an expert on intermittent fasting and uh, explains it so well. So I got the idea again from my brother. He was inspired or told about it by his son-in-law, who's a doctor, uh, and recommended as the way to go. And I hope I do it forever. Again, though, I do enjoy, you know, here's what happens in my house, and I may have told you guys before. Uh, I will say, I think I want to go, back in the day, I want to go low carb, and my wife will say, I feel like baking. I mean, that was the response. <laughs> so if we make, and she's a great, she loves to cook and bake, so if she makes some banana bread or something like that or whatever, a pie, I'll, you know, that'll just be, but I'll eat it in those eight hours, and I won't go crazy on it. Well, Bill, you, the way you describe what you eat and your, your pattern of eating, it's you don't just leave, you know, a, a 16 hours of not eating. You really have reduced your intake. Mm -hmm. The way you describe what you eat, you're you're not. Um, I I I try to fast until noon or one, but then I have a nice lunch, and right. I think that's my downfall. Is I fix myself a nice sandwich. Every <laughs> for lunch <laughs> well that's probably as much calories as i need for the whole day and then we have a big dinner right. so i think the key to this speaking as one who has not done it successfully mind you you mean you're still <laughs> looking for your keys yeah the, <laughs> the key to this is really you have to be reasonable about your your intake you have to reduce your yeah. caloric intake as well sure Sure. I mean, let's let's consider this. Let's let's take extremes to make the example. Let's say because when you you'll encounter people who will say, "Well, it's all calories in, calories out," and and that's not necessarily true. Let's say you're on a 2,500 calorie a day diet. Just picking a number, 2,500 calorie a day diet. If you eat 2,500 calories a day of lean protein and vegetables, versus 2,500 calories of pure sugar. Yeah. At the end of a month or two months, is there going to be a difference in how you look and feel? Sure. Yeah. Sure there is. Sure there is. So again, that's an ex that's an extreme example. But yeah, I try to make some good choices. I mean, we'll have. I mean, we talk like a good dinner. There be and maybe this is where we are in our lives. We'll be sitting there, Marianne and I will be, and she'll be like, well, what do you want for dinner? It's like, I don't care. I just, you know, I could have cereal. So we'll, we'll, I'll have a big bowl of cereal. I, I add a little honey to it and some blueberries, maybe some strawberries if they're in season. And I'll even use whole milk, but that's my dinner. Okay. Well, so here, here's, uh, here's a suggestion. Uh, once you've gone to Dr. Google and then perhaps to your own doctor, uh, preferably, and if you decide to try intermittent fasting, maybe uh, two or three months from now, because we, we should discuss this intermittently, I would think. And uh, well, we can find out how each one of us is doing, because I'm, I'm currently in an intermittent fasting mode and uh, I'm getting good results. Um, so, uh, and John, um, you, you intermittently have big meals. 
uh, well, it, for, yeah, for me, it hasn't. Uh, I haven't lost weight, and I think Bill, as you point out, it, it's more than just not eating. You have to, when you eat, you have to eat the right stuff. Right, right. Um, I haven't lost weight, but what it has done is it has helped my digestion, mm. um, giving my body time to digest the food that I do take in. So that's good, you know. Okay, sure. Well, the, the right, so anyway, kind of anyway I'm, glad, is, I'm glad that we've been able to share our experiences and uh, if uh, somebody out there does their own research and uh, starts their own uh, let us know how it works for you but we should we should circle back to this thing yeah every couple of months and find out how we're doing oh yeah because you know what it's going to be speedo season before you know it. <laughs> <laughs> not 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 here in california Ooh, we're, we're we don't smart want enough to for that a speedo. no you don't want to do that <laughs> Thanks, Bill. You've just ruined my self image <laughs> for the year. See you guys. Happy to help. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.